Thursday evening. Yeah, two hours are um, over, and now we have the closing game for today. It is uh, 1.22, please, versus a Tiver, or whatever. Are you at the one minute mark? I didn't screw it up this I time. Am. I am. Okay, I am. great. Then let's start this in three, two, one, go. All right. Come on, baby, give me a farce here. That would be cool that, to see a farce There would be a, a time where some guys still went farce here. Ooh, oh, he it's farce here. <laughs> awesome. There's a happy Remo demo over there. Yes, it definitely is. Chain wave, I'm gonna. And hopefully, he's gonna get a greater mana at the Merc Camp, and then it's gonna be Chain Wave for days! Yes! That would be awesome to see. By the way, look at this Lumber Mill. Yeah, very early. How early is this Lumber Mill? Yeah, it's a Lumber it's Mill. really weird. Before the barracks, so this could let, uh, lead to a very early tower rush, but I think you should have run. But I mean, over even, if, even if he gets. goes for that of an early tower rush, he still doesn't need such an early Lumber Mill. I think it's seriously just to get lumber in really quickly. I don't know why though. It's really weird. Today nobody does this, but well, um, this guy is doing it this Job game. Done. Okay, he has a lot of workers, and I don't think he's going for a fast expansion. So this has to do uh, something with towers. With towers. And here's the farseer with the creepy red eyes. You're right, he does have red eyes. Yeah. I never noticed. Does he always <laughs> have red eyes? I don't know. Maybe he has or only uh, the eyes of the colors. Yeah, probably. Oh, he's okay. going for the Merc Camp first. Maybe he just wants to steal something. Yeah, maybe he's going for the Shadow Priest. Ah, oh, that's really nice against water oh. elementals. Oh, hipster, if he needs to micro it, though. Hipster Taiva. Now players are, uh, are doing it, especially uh, the human players and the Night Elf players. He was very early with that. And yeah, no early tower push, but a, a f uh, very strange voodoo launch placement. I want to be aggressive. Yeah. It's to put on the pressure and not have to run too far back home to get some healing uh, healing selves and clarities. Makes sense. And what's the human doing? I'm still confused by this lumber mill. He has so many resources right now. He want, does he want to tech? Does he want to expand? Does he want to go for a tower rush? Oh, what he's is it? pulling militias now. Maybe for the mercenary ca uh, for the yeah mercenary creep. Job done. Exactly, and a bit of a mistake by Tyre not scouting this out because if he knew this was happening, he could do deal a lot of damage. But he doesn't have a wolf scouting or a peon or a grunt or anything. So yeah, uh, bit of a mistake. Okay, of course one of the most important creep spots on this map because the item that drops can change a fight and that means it can change a game. He's looking for a potion of invulnerability, potion of mana or the potion of healing and he gets the potion of healing. That's probably the worst of the three but still a very, very good item. And here comes the Harris from Tyver, and now he sees the Shadow Priest, and he's like, oh, fuck. Yeah, but he should have enough to deal with this, and I think he's gonna get a Berserker. Yes, he is. So his army is quite fearsome. But, oh, the farm has been killed, and now he's gonna be able to run inside this main base and need quite a bit of damage, potentially. Gets the first peasant level two, which means Chain Lightning may be coming in here. Come on, buddy, you wanna do it, I know it. I want to save the mana. There it is, uh, Jay Lightning. But he got Very a little nice. uh, uh, unlucky that it didn't jump to the hurt uh, peasant that's running away. And now, Mr. One Two Two, please, is going for the counter push, and he's towering already. <laughs> is this a five-minute base race? <laughs> This is really weird. Oh, he's losing One a grunt. Gets killed. Already oh, level, three. The level three. Yeah. Very important. Maybe but they are no completely trading bases. There's no gold income for the human right now. Oh, yeah, completely wiped out peasant line here, and he's going for the town hall like immediately. Does he have defend? He doesn't have defend, so oh. I don't think he can really trade efficiently here. Oh, I don't know. This is weird. Yeah, this is the, totally weird. This is, this is so strange. If the Farseer TP is back, he can of course defend easily, but he wants to kill the Town Hall instead. 
And he will most like, well, he will definitely be able to kill this town hall, then TP, and will not have lost his stronghold. He will, however, have probably lost all of his borrows. There goes the second to last one. Only one remaining. And yes, he wants this town hall. <laughs> yeah, the town hall. But, but he's giving the towers so much time, man. Yeah, the town hall is toast, so uh, maybe they are really trading bases, but he needs to uh, save at least one peasant. And it takes Three ages. Peons. It Three takes. Are coming down. Yeah, it takes ages to kill the stronghold to place a new town hall there. Does he even have enough money? Well, he can of course sell the TP. Doesn't need that anymore. Four hundred and nine. And it, they're, they're exchanging bases. <laughs> it's like the complete opposite of the first game where they were like, okay, uh, please, mister, don't touch me. I have to set up a million expansions. And here, here they are. Oh, please touch me. I want to kill everything. And there's a town hall. A weird placement. Okay, that... that uh, and really there's a great hall. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So we're back to even. I guess. But the thing is, this great hall can be used really easily with water elementals and a berserker. He needs to have his units in position. Because he does not want to lose this great hall. He doesn't have any lumber left. Literally zero. No, wait a minute. That's a human. I'm sorry. Yeah. But he's going for the berserker now. Nice movement by the orc Tiver. So I think that's it. Oh, he's losing a grunt thanks to the water elemental. But I could have dispelled it, but... Oh, yeah, but the water elemental is so slow. As oh, you dispel? noticed in your nice! game earlier. Nice! He but reaches the level... Oh, the Archmage. <laughs> what a cheap fella. Letting his minions doing all the work. The peasants are still <laughs> killing the stronghold. <laughs> so cool. And now he wishes he had pillage. <laughs> Oh, if, if the orc had pillar, that would be pretty awesome. Does yeah. he have the resources to still research it? I think uh, he should. I think it's like 25 gold, 50 lumber, yeah. or uh, you know, uh, yeah, the other way around. Can. He wants that shadow priest, but he's not able to get it. Because then he could add more pressure with the water elementals, of course. Imagine now a potion of bigger mana. He could just spawn three water elementals and kill the Great Hall. Yeah. But it's gonna finish, and so is the, the Town Hall. Which actually takes longer than the Orc expansion, we just never notice because normally it's being built by five peasants. But he doesn't have the resources this time. Yeah, he has no lumber. Our town is under siege. <laughs> Yeah, okay, this is uh, this early game will take some time now to rebuild all the buildings. And I think it's a pretty big mistake he didn't get pillage, honestly. I think he has the resources. He still has the resources. He still could get it. Uh, now it's too late. Ah. Take some time. Ooh, Grunt fighting on the water mantle, and still the water mantle is not able to get the last hit. What is the Archmage doing here? What oh, is the Archmage, Archmage doing here? What are you doing? What is the Archmage doing here? He's using his po wasting his potion of bigger healing. Well, he gets two units for it though. He can't buy a Zeppelin, I suppose. Ah! What's what two two doing? He's microing really not to the best. Oh, he's losing again he's... a lot of HP. Job done. Oh. And now the Great Hall is finished, and so is the Town Hall, and this really looks like Age Our of Empires now. With the town hall so close to the Our woods. Are under <laughs> All right. 2007, um, the age of Warcraft. What? What do you even like? What do you even do now? How <laughs> do you know? How do you know what the best course of action is? I don't I know. Mean, it's it's a completely different game now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to start over with. Like a barracks and like a burrow or farms, <laughs> and then push the walk account. Uh, okay, we have eight peons by the way against uh, that's ten peasants, so that's a bit of an advantage for the human. 
Yeah, but, but, also... but the human has to build more farms. Maybe that's the downside of the race now. That's true. Of course, not going to be the case for too long. Question is, when's the orc going to attack? He's going to go for the barracks first. Not going to be greedy and be attacking too quickly. And his wood lounge is, by the way, still up here in the middle of the map. Yes. Got a clarity. Oh, arc mage needs to be careful. He's low on hit points. Now he finally is quick on his micro. Reacts immediately. Yeah, but the the how's it called? Lightning chain, chain lightning uh, nuke <laughs> is is not that big, so he would have survived it. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> are under attack. Job done. Uh, okay. Question is, who's gonna be taking first? Who's gonna be having his two stuff first, and his second hero first? Because before that, I don't see anything really happening. Well, I say that in the arc, uh, the. Uh, Farseer has something else in mind. Nice awareness here. Knows that the t towers are really far up. And this leaves the peasant line exposed. Nice chain lightning coming in. Archmage being forced to use the TP with the mercenaries he just bought to be aggressive himself. He's now being forced to play defensively with them. Oh, but I think the Farseer, no, he has a scroll of speed. He doesn't need to TP. Chain lightning, no mana. So, oh, can the wolves get the Archmage? I don't think they can. No, inside the towers they're taking too much damage. Well, it was close, and there's no shop to heal up the Archmage, and he lost the town portal, so it'll go definitely worth it. And the Farseer can just now uh, heal himself up at the shop, can re regen his mana, and the Archmage walks into a trap here. Is that Chain Lightning available? I do think so. Okay, uh, new wolf. Summons the wolves instead. Yeah, Chain Lightning is 110 choice. mana, I think. Gets the Mud Golem immediately. Oh, Farseer, Scroll of Speed has a cooldown on it. But slow doesn't last too long and the Mud Golem is now dead. Finally level 4 for the Archmage, important for the level 2 aura. Yeah, we see the tier 2 tech by Tyva. No tier 2 tech yet by 1-2-2. Uh, two, two. <coughs> now the Arcane he, Tower he finally only has up. 4 peasants in his line. Is that correct? Yeah, only four. Ooh, that's a big disadvantage here. Over time, that will definitely add up. Archmage now needs to be careful. Chain lightning, still no mana. Use the wolves again. Oh, scroll of speed being used. Now he needs to try to knock bl block his farseer. Oh, it's so close. He's using them on a click. You know, he's not manually doing it with right click. So that's why he lost a bit of hit point uh, damage there. Well, the the Zeppelin here. should be ready, and I think he should have the resources. What's he oh, doing? What's he what doing? are they doing? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He's blocking himself with a berserker, but now the water elementals. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! The fast here now. He has a town portal, but it, will he use it? Ten? Oh my god! Oh my god! He is able to get away. What a sick game already! Both were totally asleep there. Oh, but they're wolves! They're wolves! And the Archmage, but they're in the towers. Oh, crazy. But they cancelled... The, uh, they, they, they killed the workers who built the shop. So still, no regeneration for the Archmage. Now, oh, just for a few seconds, the next worker is coming in to finish the job. I yeah, but meanwhile, there are three grunts. There's a completed tier 2 tech. And the shop for the Orc, so he can just heal up and go again. I really like this by uh, Tiber, that he was aware enough to get a new shop at his main because he knew his old one was gonna deny die immediately. Many Orcs will be going home and be like, shit, I don't have a shop here, I lost mine over there. <laughs> but now he was really quick on this, so he can regen up immediately again, so he can continue creeping and look at his farce here, man. He's almost at a 4 already. Well, the game is long, but it looks like it's not long, because <laughs> we basically have nothing for either of them. <laughs> Only now, Bestiary coming in and a Shadow Hunter. Yeah, that's maybe the slowest tier 2 tech I've ever seen. Like, 15 minutes in the first player is on tier 2. Farsi level 4 now, as you mentioned before, and the second mercenary camp creeps, but goes to 1-2-2 uh, two, two as well. That might be a game changer. Going to be bringing his Archmage closer to level 5, which is of course the money level. What are you going to drop, Cobalt? Another greater healing. 
okay. as we said before, it's a good item, but not the best, probably. Yeah, no uh, altar for the human player, so no Mountain King at the moment. <laughs> yeah, he forgot about it. So yeah. we see here, um, one two two is not as on top of his game, I don't think, as the Orcus. The Orcs play is looking a little crisper here. I think. I think. I like his play a little more so far. <laughs> Sorry again. Uh, bless you. Thank I think you. he should solo creep his Shadow Hunter right now and try to harass with a farce here. Yeah. But maybe the meta game was just not that advanced back then. Oh, now he's doing it. He's He really is ahead of his time. Like stealing nice. the mercenaries, stuff yeah, like that. I, th I think he's re playing really well also. Yeah. Double Arcane Sanctum. No, no, it's not. Okay, now Double Arcane Sanctum for 1-2-2. Two, two. And of course a bit of creeping. And a Zeppelin. Maybe he's doing the moon move. That was uh, known in 2007. But of course against Ensnare that's always really dangerous. True, but there is no Ensnare yet. Or is, or is there? Oh no. Okay, but not yet. soon to come. Very soon, yeah. Spirit Lodge and War Mill, so we'll see uh, Walkers and Kodo Beasts, and we have level 5 already. Yeah, really, well, not that quick, but pretty quick for the Archmage. The problem is, though, he took so many creep spots, so whatever second hero yeah. he chooses, it's gonna be really difficult to creep him up, and it is gonna be the Mountain King second. Definitely. Who is gonna be having a hard time leveling? Level 2 already for the Shadow Hunter, so nice advantage here. What is the Archmage doing now? I think he's just scouting if there's an expansion. And uh, 1 to 2 is about to do a Zeppelin drop. Yeah, it's flying across the map towards the main. He didn't have a TP in his inventory when last I looked. So if he still doesn't have one, it's going to be really dangerous. But of course, he can get one at the bottom merchant. Job done. And again, they're going to be exchanging aggression <laughs> <laughs> if they if they trade bases again i'm gonna go crazy but, uh, i don't think that's gonna happen and these tower are really helpful right now they're buying a lot of time and damaging uh, quite a bit as well all right now we see the archmage unload does not have a tp yet does get one now and now the harassment is gonna start and no staff or something just the potion of healing and the town portal. What is the orc gonna do? He's creeping the natural expansion. Okay, okay, with the first uh, spirit link, it's definitely doable in a decent amount of time. Oh, instant town portal. Would be Ooh, easily very. able to, yeah. to force a TP here, or at least kill a few units. Very only has one raider, so only one uh, end snare, but also the hex. Will ensure the second kill. Oh, there's a second raider, by the way. He can kill the Zeppelin. Yep, there's the Ensnare. That's a Zeppelin dead, a Berserker dead, and an Ogre Mauler dead in exchange for only one TP. So, definitely a good trade for Tiber here. True that, and that should mean almost level three for the Shadow Hunter. Okay, level two and a half. That's okay. The Archmage, uh, yeah, still very passive in this game. He wanted to do something, wasn't able to kill anything in the base, didn't cancel a producing building or something, uh, so not worth the town portal, I'd say. Shadowhunter now regenerating, and then it might be time for the first go in this game with tier 2 units. But I think the human is still wants to still stay passive because it's only at 34 supply and that's not where you want to fight whereas the orc of course is already up to 50 so he's ready to go and now this is a very important creep camp for the mountain king getting some solo xp which is desperately needed because of course the little dwarf is not really amazing before he hits level 3 as most heroes are and he's standing with a lightning shield in, inside his army which is not the greatest and he didn't get the solo XP from that creep because the argument was too close. Yeah. So, yeah, the human making quite a few mistakes here. Ty was definitely the better player in this game. But maybe human is OP again. Is he buying? Nothing. Okay. Potion of invulnerability and potion of healing. It's a good choice. Only three towers left there. That's still taking some time. And no shadow hunter level three for the heal wave. Tyra now with his superior army 
and uh, map control is going for the expansion, I like this, and distracting his opponent. Running into the towers, however, I don't know if that's the best idea. He could just contain him right now and creep the outskirts of the human territory. Now Whoa, the surround. Mountain King really far up in front, gets ensnared, gets surrounded, gets focused. He's fairly tanky though, there comes the Hex, so he cannot pass anything, at least he cannot be used, but the Hex will wear off and he can just barely use the invulnerability. That was really close, but look at these casters, the sorcerers are really um, far up in front, they're pretty much exposed, he can kill them fairly easily, but the Mountain King also has a potion of greater healing, use it also in vulnerability, used on the Farseer, heroes focusing each other but saving are the items, oh the Shadow Hunter also has invulnerability, he needs to use it right now and finally the Mountain King dies, level 3 level up for the Shadow Hunter, he now has a level 2 healing wave and he kills one more oh! yes. Five hit points on the SH. Sorry to interrupt you, but that was so yeah, close. Yeah, that was, that was really close. I was uh, <laughs> concentrating on that uh, Shadow Priest there, but of course, Shadow Hunter almost dying was, uh, was a close call there. Oh, and Tyver is playing the Night Elf Tactics. Tier 3 tech, expansion, and uh, unit producement at the same time. Exactly. He had a lot of gold to work with before, so makes it possible but now he's all out of gold but he's in a good, pretty good position the human should still be scared what you need to look out for right now is a possible expansion because if he can well deny that expansion and keep his own up that would of course be a great advantage for him so I think going creeping right now is the wrong decision let's see what he wants to do here yeah he's building an expansion I mean I mean the orc oh, okay he also needs to heal his heroes, which he's uh, kind of forgetting about right now. Well, the next heal wave will definitely hit the heroes. Yeah, but he wants to uh, use the healing self rather. Ah, he's being really slow here. Gets the TP, gets the invulnerability, that's nice. This is taking really long though. He should already be on his way over to the human expansion. Yeah, the Mountain King is back now. Maybe he wants to wait till the tier 3 tag is finished, but there's nothing to do in his uh, half of the map. The wolves are creeping alone here. A nice move. Yes, yes, income from two uh, mines right now. I think he just should just start pumping right now and never let up the pressure. Yeah. And just keep the human from expanding himself. I think he scouted with his wolves. He sent them out anyways. And now he's gonna be able to get a creep check here. No, he crept with the wolves in the middle of the map. Yeah, that also, but uh, maybe maybe before, I don't know. And I think the human has to TP here, gets in with a Mountain King with a level 1 Stormbolt Spirit Link coming in. But more uh, sorceresses are being, uh, yeah, coming for, uh, for reinforcements. But there he does have to TP out, gets one more priest, not quite, just barely survives. And now again, he's. I think he's just taking too much time. There's a great window of, opportuni of opportunity here to deal damage to the expansion. Yeah. It's, and it's only now he goes so into up close. Yeah. Circle it, and what's he building? Only gr the usual hero com uh, unit composition. No. But he has towers. really good heroes, man. Level five yeah. Farseer, level three Shadow Hunter. That's amazing. Yeah. But there's a level five and level two uh, human heroes. There's no Arcane Tower against the Wolves, I don't know if that's good. They're really greedy, not getting any towers at this expansion. And now finally the Orc realizes that he's at an uh, advantage and he should make use of it. And here we go, lots of slow of course being cast. We have two scrolls of uh, speed, uh, uh, however, so that's gonna be very d helpful. No mana for disenchant against the Water Elements, that's a big problem. Chain Lightning coming in, dealing a lot of damage, Spirit Link. Uh, binding the u org units together, but his army is not that big, man. He should have started producing sooner because this army doesn't seem to be surviving. Nope, he loses unit after unit after unit. No mana left on the Shadow Hunter here. Uh, there is now a new heal uh, wave and a new walker coming in, so there will be Spirit Link available soon. But one grunt goes down, the second grunt goes down. Malicious support being called. More and more casters are joining the fray here. Level 3 for the Mountain King. Uh, fairly easy, and so it's almost only the two heroes left for Tyver. He has one Kodo, which is important to get rid of one of those spellbreakers, and now he TPs out. Losing the last run, no, just barely survives, and now Wyvern. Oh my god, look at Tyver's expansion. 
Only three peons in the gold mine, and two <laughs> are just idling. Oh, yeah. man. He played so perfect, basically, in the early yeah. game. But now he's starting to make quite a few mistakes. And there's this big icon in the bottom left, so you yeah. should <laughs> not <laughs> miss this. Maybe it's the uh, uh, Sokol tactics. <laughs> yeah. uh, infamous Sokol tactics. And now first main gold mine of the orc Crazy. has collapsed. Human still has one. Tor and Totem. All right, here we go. <laughs> That's what I like to see. Well, yeah, the, this the the uh, torrents are of course very good against uh, the spell breakers, and the wyverns are good against the casters. So that makes sense. Yeah, but wind riders are so bad against water elementals. I don't know. Use these two peons to go into the gold mine, dude. Come on! How does how does he not see this? I have no idea. Maybe he's in the zone. In also, the he's tier three, so he should definitely get a tiny great hall and use it in the bottom left, not to the top right because that spreads him very thin when he has to defend. But the peons are walking up there. And now. Tyver seems to be a little slow. He's been standing inside his main base just using clarys and stuff for like a solid minute. Definitely not the most efficient play. Yeah, 1 to 2 is definitely back in this game. And he didn't sell this uh, Lionhorn of Stormwind. That's surprising. Double me. Torrent Totem. Wow. Ooh, wow. What? What? He has one gold mine. How is he supposed to support this? Um, I don't know. Saving money till. 14,000 gold like the game prior and then pumping it out and now he's going upkeep with zero bank and also with only still three pe only uh, three peons dude what are you doing kill attack. one peon so you're not in upkeep okay maybe right. the oh it, it looks look at like the a peon line uh, the peasant line at the expansion of oh, one to two nice. completely really cool. erased so that's something good he's doing yeah but he has to it defend like now yeah he looks has to like defend. that's absolutely right. It looks like someone else is playing, by the way. Now, finally, the peons are all five back in the gold mine. And these two towers are very, very hard to take down for the human. This is the perfect position, pretty much, for the orc to defend, to fight. And there comes the first tauren, and he's leaving the Kodo inside his main. No, he's not. Does not want to repair the Great Hall, he wants to repair the towers. Pretty slow on that. Alright, but now here comes the defense. Four sorcerers has already fallen. By the way, quite a few mercenaries to help aid in this attack. Two wind riders in the front. They're not really the most beefy. First scroll of speed being used. One raider, however, has already fallen. But now the feral spirits, they are really strong. And also we see a scroll of protection instantly, however, disenchanted. I really like this. Quick on his reaction here. First wyvern has fallen. But look at this positioning of the wolves. Very nice. They're circumventing the front line and going for the casters in the back immediately. And this pulverize from the torrent looking really impressive and dealing quite a bit of damage. Also, on top of that, but everything is slowed now. No dispel anymore from the spirit walker. Archmage uses invulnerability. Survives for a little longer. Mountain King uses bolt on the torrent. New wolves, however, and these wolves, I think they are keeping, uh, well, keeping the human uh, orc in this game. Archmage, oh. Archmage, hexed. Careful, dies because of the chain lightning level 6 now for the Farseer, and this might be the turning point. The Mountain King is in trouble as well. Is there another Hex uh, chain lightning combination? No, I don't think so. But the Wolves, man, with the. Here's Hex! Is there chain lightning available? The cooldown is over, I believe! But. It is enough! The Chakras of the Shadow Hunter just killing it. Two heroes down for the human, zero heroes down, but all units. So they basically traded the army versus the heroes. Oh, surround possibility here for 1 2 2. Is he able to close it? No, poor surround. Try here. Second poor surround try, and here's the level up. And that may save the Shadow Hunter. Yes, it does. Uh, oh, he's, he's running into the surround here. He's. <laughs> it's like. Asking his opponent to to he surround an imbul, him. Though. He has an ah, okay. and, he, and he can't swap over the TP. Ah, so. okay, okay, ah, okay. There's no way he should die. I see, I see. I must say he's but doing still. a good job with his wolves. Yeah. He just came back, uh, he regained his shape, I should say, for the defense of that fight. Before that, he played pretty badly, but then for the Yeah, it's fight like they are, they, well they, are, they are sitting in the internet cafe 
and they're 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 swapping places. <laughs> and yeah, like, or, or the little Ash brother is coming in. Yeah, That's yeah. After ten minutes. And yeah. again, nice disruption of income here with the wolves. Of oh, the archmage doesn't want to die. Can he was just rebought? Hex? No mana for hex. Chain lightning? No mana for chain lightning. But there's a scroll of speed. Is this gonna be able to kill the Archmage? He tries to retreat back into his towers. Move your ass, old man, to the shop with a healing potion. 4 HP! 4 HP! He uses the healing <laughs> potion. And now the Shadow Hunter is slowed. But he does have invulnerability. Oh, the wolves will not kill the Archmage, but it's kind of close, man. Yeah. These level 3 wolves are scary. But he resummons them. Very nice that you use uh, scooter re 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 references in your cast. It's very cool. I did? Yeah, Move Your Ass, one of the most famous songs <laughs> by Scooter. Oh, the Shadow Hunter has to be careful because the Mountain King camps, uh, comes out of the tavern and he has to TP out immediately with his Farseer. I'm pretty panicky there. I guess he forgot the Mountain King comes back with yeah. zero mana. So. Haha, yeah. <laughs> true! I forgot but about yeah. that too. <laughs> <laughs> better, better safe than sorry. It's only yeah. a TP, you know, it's, it's not the biggest deal. Especially when you have a Great Hall in the back. A second Great Hall, of course. And he's going for more Wyvern. I think that's a really bad idea. Needs, I think he needs Raiders and Walkers and maybe Torrents. Yeah, with Wyverns you need to have a lot to be effective or uh, you have to have them very early. Oh, but the Wolves again. Neither very of nice. that is the case. Oh, uh, yeah. This expansion, I don't know, just one or two towers, arcane towers, and it's mostly safe, but... Yeah, the peon line is dead as well, so is the second tower, and Tyver is doing nothing against it. It's hard to defend this, he only has four units, uh, there's a wyvern up there, and there's a Kodo inside his base. He's forgetting about quite a bit here. Uh, uh, he could have a stronger defense ready, but of course these water elementals are so in this situation with such tiny armies. I don't know. I don't think it, I would defend this either. I don't think he can defend this. Not okay. with wyverns. Wyverns, are, I, I really don't like Joyce, man. Well, he's doing nothing with his torrent totems. He's doing nothing with the barracks, so no grunts as a counter to spirit walker uh, to to spellbreakers. The main gold mines are down, as we mentioned, so this one is the only running expansion at the moment. But wolves are coming in again. This was and the only running expansion at the <laughs> moment. And I think what the human needs to do here is just sit on top of your expansion. So the wolves can't harass, yeah. build up your economy yeah. again, get like two or three towers, and then you can go on the aggressive. Yeah, exactly. Because if he wants, if he runs into towers and borrows here, that's not a fight he's gonna win. But he's being impatient. Oh, raider, kind of out of position, slowed and bolted to death. And again, it's again a game of summons, like the last game. Summon's so strong right here, next raider, again, far out in front, but this chain lightning deals so much damage. Two casters dead immediately, and the wolves want to take care of the other two. But Wyvern now being microed nicely above the forest, but one wind rider is gonna die. Kodo it's, wants to eat something, has not yet done so, however. Oh, Farseer, Farseer bold, maybe surround. Not trying to go for it, he still has a scroll of speed in his inventory. But he can retreat into his burrows here. Last raider is gonna die. This one wind rider in the top will kill the sorceress. Not quite. Is microed back very well done. Just barely surviving. And the sorceress does get killed. And new wolves joining the fray. Yeah, the wolves the so good breakers. against the spellbreakers, of course. Yeah, you mentioned that. Exactly. So he's picking up one unit after another. But here comes the storm bolt against the Kodo beast. That means no more. Uh, damage boosting aura, so he's down to one wyvern and only his two heroes. Is he able to fight them off? All oh, the wyvern, okay, he's down to his two heroes and of course the two summon wolves. The peasant line is not up and running, he needs to gather more gold. And now, oh, look at this critical strikes here! The mountain king in trouble. This raider is so important with the end snare and the wolves, it's really easy yeah. to kill 
all the units. Yeah. But of course, a level 3 bow now, so that does need a lot of damage. We shouldn't forget. Level almost 7 farce here. Do we have we have one peasant and a second yeah. one on its way for yeah. the human? He has to kill it with the wolves. Yeah, wolves should be scouting right now. He should know that he doesn't need them in his defense. His boroughs are strong yeah. enough, so he, sh he has the uh, the time. But they the can just run away. Yeah, they are now invisible. So one two two knows exactly what's coming. He should be long prepared. distance mining saw that. With, with two peons. <laughs> That takes some time, but, but maybe more are coming maybe in now. maybe they can just uh, gather enough gold for a clarity or something. Oh, here are the wolves. One hit. Oh, he needs three hits, I think. And, and now finally the human starts defending, but this invisibility is really obnoxious to deal with. But so is the mountain with full mana, man. <laughs> this is so much damage, and yeah, there's no way this raider is surviving. But Even the wolves are back here. again. The next bolt is just gonna kill him. Uh, or is he out of range? He's out of range. Oh my god! Oh my god! He saved the raider. I was just about, uh, I was just looking at the peon line because the raiders are about to kill both of them, but failed. Okay. Um, he desperately needs to kill those two peasants. Because yeah, then it's, it's not a problem actually. If he just micros those two wolves accordingly. Appropriately, I okay. mean. Okay, I didn't easy. see the wolves coming in. Because my vision and is 1-2-2. It's no problem. First peasant dies, second peasant dies, and third one will die also. If he's careful. But right now he's not microing it. Bit of a mistake. Do they have a uh, huge critical strike percentage? I don't it know what like it is, actually. Every second hit is a crit. I don't know what it is, honestly. Okay, he has money for one more person. What was that? Uh, exhaling. Sounded, sounded like <laughs> a baby elephant. <laughs> that was just me exhaling. <laughs> right, you can just keep on sending in these wolves until there's no more money yeah. left for peasants. True. But now he's going in with his entire army. Oh, the Mountain King was parked out in front with a cloak of shadow, so he couldn't see him. Really nice move. And he can absolutely not fight this unless he kills the Archmage Hex. He has immobility, but he's hexed. He's still hexed. Oh, Shadow Hunter down! Dies and the Archmage dies. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Crazy Double game kill. again. Chain Lightning finishes off the old man on the horse. Bolt finishes off the raider. And also the Ensnare and the wolves killed the uh, spell Spellbreaker. Excuse me. So now we only have one hero against one hero. But one of them... <laughs> But one of them has summons, yeah, which turn yeah, invisible, yeah. and the other one only has hammers. So I think the Farseer actually has the advantage here. How much gold does he need for the f for the uh, Archmage? Ah, yeah. he can sell a lot of items. Just sell that fucking Lionhorn, it's so useless. Yes, thank you. Okay, the Archmage is back. What the about back. the Shadowhunter? Uh, yeah, the, uh, it takes some time, but if the ones come back with enough gold, he's gonna have enough. Oh, lucky bashes on the Farseer here. And he has only one more pe gold for one more peasant. Oh, but the bolts. He doesn't have mana for bolt anymore, but the bash? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? Yeah, okay. He's gonna get away. Uh, scroll of speed. Save says. Was kind of unnecessary, but yeah. Better safe than sorry again. Yeah, if what there's one lucky now? bash, you're fucked. So. No, he could have... Uh, he was out of... Range of melee already, and uh, mana was too low for a bolt. But yeah, it's you know, if you look at this and go, Oh, I can maybe save the score of speed, and it's 50 gold. And if you lose yeah. the hero because of that, that's just that's just terrible. So, Shadow, yeah, Shadow Hunter is coming sorry. back as well, but of course, he was level five, so it's gonna take a while. But the Archmage was level six, so he one, <laughs> one peasant, more Money for one peasant, yeah. <laughs> um, he costs more and he takes longer to build. So once again, game on a knife's edge. The Farseer is hidden from the Storm Bolts. Very clever to not uh, place him directly into the base or next to the shop or something. But hide him here at the laboratory. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You're right. But I, I think he should really summon some goddamn wolves. 
Ah, uh, they're yes. already there. All right, <laughs> never mind. Now, now he's I was, one step uh, ahead of you. Perspective. I was oh, and now he has no more gold them. for another peasant, and he has no more um, items to sell. Right? Uh, the the archmage maybe if he comes out. Okay, he's uh, TP and a yeah, potion of invulnerability. What the fuck? Why did this archmage die? He was hexed. He was. Hexed. Ah, he was hexed. He was hexed, ladies and gentlemen. That is why. <laughs> Stairs teleportation used. No, uh, ultimate. Yeah. Mass teleport by the Archmage. Yeah, what a Come mess. Come to the Mountain King. Yeah. <laughs> it took me a while to get it. I was like, what? Yeah. what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> now I got it. Now I got it. And of course, before there's a Shadow Hunter on the field of battle, the Orc wants to have nothing to do with these fights. And the Mountain King is so scary with his bolt. Well, these are brave wolves. Buying some time here with their lives. Okay, I don't so think you actually uh, sell the teep here because if you get some peasants, they're just gonna get slain by wolves anyways. I think. All right, Shadowhunter is back. He heals up the farce here. If you create peasants, they're just gonna get killed by wolves anyways yeah. at the expansion. So I think not selling the TP on the Archmage is the better choice. But the nice thing is, you can just click the wolves on the Archmage and they, tur they turn invisible uh, every other second. So you can slowly chip away at his hit points. But I think the last peon may be dying here in a second. Oh, Hex! Onto the Mountain King! Where is the save? Where is the TP transfer? He needs to do it really quickly. Must teleport Hex with Shade Lightning! Oh. Here it is! He hexed the Mountain King instead of the Archmage. Big mistake. Big mistake. Had he hexed the Archmage, TP would have been cancelled. And he would have probably killed everything there. Was this the deciding mistake in this game? Possible? I don't know. I Honestly, I think, I think the, the wolves are pretty much invulnerable. Like, because they turn invisible on, uh, all the time. And there's nothing the human can do about it. He doesn't have the resources to deal with invisibility. That's true. There's one more peasant. Yeah, not uh, for long. N not for long, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> How much money does the human have? Oh, he has one 86. money for one more, I think. Yeah, but I How think he doesn't have a town hall any longer if he doesn't defend this. Oh, he has only mana for one water mantle, just summoned it. By the way, he did sell his TP. Yeah, and he bought a scroll of regeneration for that. To heal up the Mountain King at least a bit. But I think <laughs> the Orc sees that and he's like, haha, I have Hex and Chain Lightning av uh, available very, very soon. So let's just regen some mana and then we'll see what the Mountain King is able to do. And there's one wolf already waiting for the peasant. Ready to work. And there it is. <laughs> and invisible. Season. Oh, nice. This is so nice. Invisible again. In invisible again. Oh, and now the duration is uh, gone. Oh no, he, uh, he summoned them. And again. new ones are coming in. Yeah. And now he's like, dude, leave my fucking peasant alone, will <laughs> yeah, you? Yeah, that's so annoying. And he has two water elementals here and a mountain king waiting just for those wolves. And then he's going to use Bolt and uh, try to kill them. But now he's moving away from the peasant, which is going to be his death, most likely. Oh, where's the crits? That's good. And it's dead. And now there are no more peasants. Did he Unless he sells his invulnerability. Yeah. Did he use Stormbolt on the Shadow Wolf? And now he didn't, but before he did, yeah. Wow. That's a... Uh, I won't say waste of mana, because he was full on... But he has so. an Archmage. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He regens so quickly. Our town is under siege. Ooh. All right. Now, how how do you win this game? I think I think he has earthquake, right? But there's both. Yep. So well, what are you gonna do with earthquake? Um, <laughs> yeah. Maybe you get big bad voodoo and then earthquake, so he can't. Bolt yeah, but but then your 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 shadow hunter get uh, bolted. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but then he has to use the second one only on yeah. Well. Yeah, maybe you can. And now he tries to creep. For a little bit of gold, but his extension is gone, so there's gonna be no more regular gold income. Whereas could there's still, still do three long peons. He has no more. Yeah, but getting one peon, uh, 
buying one peasant to then long distance mine, I don't know if that's worth it. It's definitely not, but it's a possibility. And we have to think about all possibilities in uh, the game of Warcraft. Yes, possibly. we have to think about all the possibilities. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they're okay, doing a base here. kill now... Throw me an earthquake, come on. Why don't you see one of the last game? And look at these wolves, man. They're just beasts. And no wolves. It's crazy how good summon heroes are in these kinds of situations. Yeah. Is he going for the kill on the Archmage? No, he's going for the tower. Level Let's 6 see. for the Shadow Hunter. Come on, Big Bad Voodoo and uh, Earthquake. Come on, buddy. I mean, uh, Hex would be the far better choice here, so I think he's gonna skill Hex. Alright, he's camping outside his opponent's base, and you know, actually he does have the econo economy advantage, he only yeah. has 3 on <laughs> long distance mining, but he does have the economy advantage. Alright, Raider way too far up in front is gonna die, not now, because he gets healed, but the next bolt will make short work of him. Doesn't even need it because he has the bash. There we go, level 7 for the Archmage. But he uses now Potion of Invulnerability already. All right. Oh, oh, Invisibility with the last Sorceress. Really well done. But he can't, she can't cast herself Invisible, so he's gonna die to the, four, uh, to the Chain Lightning and the Archmage in fact comes out of Invisibility. Who's gonna die? Archmage or Orc Heroes? Bolt on the Shadowhunter. No hex available because of that. Archmage runs away with only 75 hit points. Heal wave coming in once more. A lot of mana left on the Shadow Hunter. Does he want to keep up the pressure or does he want to retreat for the moment? It looks like retreat Ooh. for now. The wolf took three hits or hit three times and now the Farseer maybe? No. Still enough HP. Here comes the next heal wave. Maybe this is time for Hex. Oh my god, the Archmage! He turned around! The wolf is there immediately! 27 hit points left! Is the wolf fast enough? Block with the peons. The peons are coming in for the block. Oh my god, this is so fucking close! But he's able to get to the shop. Oh, oh no, mass teleportation! Why? 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 He, he's able to do it! He is able to portal away! Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ, what a game! That sorceress was so cool though, man. He spends his last bit of money on a sorceress, yeah. and that one fucking sorceress saved <laughs> the art mage. That was really damn cool, man. She did die shortly after, but I mean still. But she did her job, so... so. Timer has one she goal, literally rest. one goal at the yeah. moment. 38 for 122. Thanks to the Archmage, of course, there is <laughs> enough mana on the MK, but Tiber is doing it again. And he's hiding the AM. <laughs> At the shop. And he's just summoning more water elementals. So he's uh, not so much moving mana fountain and water elemental spawning machine. But, but now he knows where the Archmage is. Uh -huh. Very yeah. unsmart to send it from over there. <laughs> Very unsmart. <laughs> what? Isn't that a word? I don't think so. <laughs> Why not? There's smart and there's un. So you can combine them to make it unsmart. I don't think you can put un uh, in front of every word you just. You we know, can do it in so German. Desire. Then, then, then we, can. we are overtaking the English. Uh, German, the, the, German master race. <laughs> yes, German master race. We are overtaking the English language now. I like it. I know. Alright, Mountain King, there's a Raider that's in his prime target, but he's getting hexed! It may be backfiring on him here. His greedy play, his desire to kill him because he dies himself at this second level 8 now for the Farseer. There's no money, not even close to enough money for a revive for that Mountain King. And how, how is a human supposed to come back from this? I don't know if there's a way. Uh, me neither, but I'm very busy, uh... Conquering the English language, so <laughs> I didn't put much thoughts into how to win a game with only one Archmage with uh, 200 XP. But yeah, he could summon water elementals and hide all the time, but that might take ages. I think oh, he has get a to recognize on. that oh, is he, is he, gonna get it? He's, yeah. he lost this game. A very funny yeah. game though, but... That was really cool. Yeah. 
very, very unusual start with a cool piece change. Qu earthquake! Fucking finally! Yeah! Oh my god. Earthquake. I like it. I hate the animation. It just looks so poor. Yeah, it looks really bad, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's just a, a, a few rockets like jumping up and down. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a cool spell. You know what has an amazing animation that we never see? Volcano, man. Yeah. That skill looks so cool. Archmage TPing back like the hero that he is. He wants to defend. I think that's gonna be a poor choice. Where's the hex? And so here we go. Hex, chain lightning, give it all you got, man! He's actually letting him survive? No. <laughs> very, very uh, boring. One last um, lightning bubble kills him. And human has only a laugh towards the end. As he admits his defeat, says GG, leaves the game and gives the orc the well-deserved victory. Yes, indeed. 51 minutes for this game. Absolutely insane once again. Very nice hero actions on both of those maps. Uh, thanks.